A Fox 6 investigation has some parents and teachers in Hartford calling for school leaders to resign. This after federal funds meant for pandemic relief ended up going to the superintendent's wife. Fox 6 investigator Brian Paulson takes you to the first public meeting since he broke the story where school officials are pointing fingers. You want my position? You want to come up here and do this? Tensions are running high in Hartford. I had it up to here. After a Fox 6 investigation puts district leaders. I've been on this board for a long time. Maybe that's the problem. In the hot seat. Well, where were you on the ballot, sir? Greg Erickson is president of the Hartford Joint One School Board. Let me talk. And on June 28th, he was determined to give parents and teachers a piece of his mind. I'm going to explain myself because I've had this bottle up for two months. But it's not on the Please let him talk. After they filled a middle school auditorium for one reason. What has come to light recently with a Fox the 6 investigation? Fox 6, Invest Fox 6 um, investigation. Why is this on Fox 6 News? Most of us in this room probably wouldn't even know about this if it hadn't been on Fox 6. Since the coronavirus pandemic began, the federal government has allotted Wisconsin schools more than $2 billion in aid under the Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Program. The latest round, known as ESSER 3, directs more than $1.3 million to Hartford Joint One. And last fall, the school board voted to spend $130,000 of that money over a two-year period on a district community coordinator a newly created work from home position aimed at engaging with parents whose children are falling behind because of the pandemic. We have to stop that. In December, Superintendent Mark Smith signed a contract that gave that job to a retired district teacher named Cindy Smiths. I didn't do anything wrong. His wife. I think some miscommunication happened which I take full blame for that miscommunication. Our investigation found Mrs. Smith's name never appeared in public meeting agendas, minutes, or detailed packets provided to school board members until after the board voted to approve the contract. But Erickson says he knew exactly who they were voting to hire. I have no involvement in the hiring process whatsoever. Because the superintendent told him in private before the vote. Dr. Smith brought it to my attention that they were thinking about hiring his wife. It's not clear if other board members met with the superintendent privately, but Aaron Wilkes says no one told her. I don't know why one board member would know more than another, but I did not. What were they trying to hide? Jessica Gronbeck is a mother of four who says the money could have been better spent on reading specialists who work directly with students, like her son Wesley. She's not working with students. She's not working with students. Then what is she doing? From January through June, the district paid Cindy Smiths more than $42,000 in salary and benefits to make phone calls to parents about ExactPath. That's correct. An online diagnostic and learning tool. But in April, a draft of next year's district calendar showed teachers would be expected to work evenings making similar calls to parents. Several responded with angry letters to board members. Unanimous letters as it was. Anonymous. Anonymous, whatever. And a half dozen current and former staff members talked to the Fox 6 investigators on the condition we not identify them. Why don't the teachers let us know? Because they're afraid of losing their jobs. But after our story. I'm asking the board to reconsider the use of the Oscar funds. One teacher and nearly a dozen parents lined up to speak in public. We need transparency um, from the administration. I question how and why the school board and administration let this happen. Was this position actually benefiting us or was it convenient to benefit the superintendent personally? Not everyone you know, I hear all the grumbling, rah, 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 rah. was critical you know, of Dr. Smith's. You know, he's been 19 years and all of a sudden now he's a problem. Now there's corruption. Yeah. But those who were. Maybe the superintendent and the president of the school board should resign. Called for action. You want me to resign? Fine. You, can you want my position? You want to come up here and do this? Do any of you guys? Fine, I had it up to here. Erickson did not actually resign, and Dr. Smith brushed the calls aside. I don't know how to respond to that. But if their goal was to get parents more engaged, I finally felt heard. They are now. The district's contract to employ Cindy Smith expired at the end of June. The original plan was to bring her back this fall at an annual salary of $70,400. However, since our story aired, the district has decided to survey staff members and parents before deciding how to spend ESSER funds next year. Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators.
Brian, thank you. The Hartford Joint One School Board has scheduled a special meeting for tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. The board intends to discuss the formation of a focus group that will address long-range plans, including the future use of ESSER funds. That meeting taking place at the District Administration Building. It's on Sumner Street, and it is open to the public.